Welcome back to the channel. Um, Green Castle Toy Show of the Day. Not sure I'm gonna do a whole video, might do a whole post or something. So, if you were there, glad to see you. Sold some stuff, made some money, got to see everybody. Um, you try and get a booth next show, but that's not what this video is about. If you do watch the channel, you, know, you, you obviously know what I'm talking about the Green Castle Toy Show, but whatever. I'm gonna look at the classified copperhead. So I've been getting many classified figures, you know, they hit clearance one or two, some are hitting Ollie's, the Dusty, I think is his name. Dusty, I think. Yeah. I I wanna get that guy looking for him. Traded some bots with Trans Aaron38 Instagram YouTube. Go check him out. And got some Joes from him. Figured might as well try and do a video on him, whether I do all three or just a couple. It's been, it's been a little bit since I bought a Joe, still figured might as well take a look at him here. Copperhead here. I have some issues with him. I have some ones I really like. He's, I don't, whether it's just these Joes in particular, him and is it Chipwreck? These, these are actually some pretty fun figures. I mean, not that I didn't think they would be, but accessories definitely help with that. Um, starting off, um, let's see, we got one. Let's see, this gun here, all black, molded all black, goes in the holster, have this one in his hand, which I, I really like, this is, is this supposed to be a revolver with a skull, six shooter or something? Really like the way that looks, that looks really nice. And then a, I guess would this be a machete? So, have that, along with storage, have the holster, holster over here and then we do have this um i guess backpack plugs in the back obviously and on the back tabs in so there is storage for all his success um, articulation pretty good articulation at the head yeah it does go back pretty far neck i just go out 360 butterfly joints and the band fell down. I will say these bands are annoying. I, I hate when Hasbro does those bands. But whatever. Swivels. Double joints. Pinless. Uh, band does get in the way. So, you know, if you take that off or move it, whatever. And both hands go up and down. I'm really glad they do go up and down. Back. Forward. Swivel. And it is on that ball there. Legs are drop down. Forward. Back. Thigh swivel if it will move. Double joints pinless again. Hmm, I'm kind of. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't go super far, but still has them. Uh, boot swivel and then the foot. So, you know, your. I, I think this is the standard, um, you know, G.I. Joe articulation. Pretty decent, so yeah, glad to see that there. Some spots are d definitely a little bit messy. Um, I really like the colors of this guy. Though. This is why I took them. They stand out so much. These two greens, like I will say, on the box, it's definitely brighter colors. At least the what looks like lime green on the box. If I'm right on that. It's, it's not necessarily lime green. It's definitely more of a lime green than just, you know, plain shade green. Here's a Gorilla Blue Cap. But, yeah, I wish it was a lot more brighter, but whether that's accurate to the character or not. But, I mean, the greens, the paint's really nice on this guy. It does match Silver Cobra logo really like that. Now, the face, though, is where there is some messed up paint there. I think that's really about it where the paint is like the mess the messed up the head there really it's just the head i guess but i mean paint some size comparisons get him standing up here here he is with the one transformer from aliexpress i just recently reviewed marvel legends um speedball marvel legends yelena here he is with a mcfarlane figure and here he is with Spider-Man, because why not? There he is. Honestly, this is a pretty nice figure. Um, again, I don't buy Joes that much, so when I get him, definitely a treat. I'm really honestly trying to shrink down what I consider my Joe shelf, which is mainly Valiverse. 
just a bunch of copies of that one that hit clearance. Have some random kit bash figures in there. Kind of want to shrink that down. Of course, now I'm adding to it. But this pretty decent figure. Got some stuff I like about it. Just if that paint was a little better, but it doesn't bother me that much. You know, I'm not going to. No one's really going to notice it unless it's one inch away from your face. But pretty nice figure. Really like the accessories here. So if you have them, let me know what you think of them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.